itself. But then you want to get a feel for your leads, yeah? So you want to get signals as notifications, sales signals. I will show you what I mean by that. I want to see what's actually happening in the automations and who is getting which automation. So let me show you what I mean. Um, I want to receive those sales signals in order for my brain to see, oh yeah, that is somebody who has repeatedly come in and is really interested in what we are doing. How about I give them a call? I want to enable myself to actually see that because normally if you have an email newsletter list, you don't see it on a personal level. It's like an anonymized mass that has an open rate and a click-through rate. But those are human people, yeah, on the other side. And I want to get a feeling for them. So a CRM is a good start. Yeah, this is my active campaign CRM. This is exactly of how many co uh, contacts I had in there, uh, mostly, of course, uh, from Eventbrite. Uh, and you see like how often people subscribe here and some trends and campaigns that have been running. Um, but it's still just a number. And contacts to me are really, there's the biggest difference between contacts and deals. Yeah, deals are for me potential people that I want to actively nurture and get in touch and support them in their, in their efforts. And here we have a deal list, yeah, a bit anonymized. I hope you, we can really can't see it. Yeah, it looks good, Mati, doesn't it? Looks pretty safe. Uh, we have 91 people from the 2,000 people that we want to get in contact with, uh, that we are actually in contact with, sorry. Uh, 20 of those we would consider hot, meaning they have really responded well, like in, with the LinkedIn hustle. Yeah, you have a lot of connections, but who's actually engaging with you and saying like, Ben, I think in three weeks we need a proposal. Then they ask me to get a proposal, so I create one. Then I send it, and then they accept it, and then they buy for the first time. Yeah, and we have this whole journey here as deals. And my marketing automation flows um, can create a deal out of a contact. Let's say somebody shows up to this meetup for five times, joins a workshop, uh, asks interesting questions. Why not try to be more in touch with them, with this human? And this system allows me to do this, but if you, you can't keep track of 2,000 people, and this is actually like the smallest email list I ever had for any business, but it's by far the most powerful. Yeah, with, with Gosu, we... We had 300,000 with, uh, uh, with CS Ghost deals, I think like 400,000, but there was no connection there. And I have a hard time keeping in touch with 2,000. So how does it look like? I want to get a pulse. This is again our Discord, which you can just translate to yourself as Slack. It looks pretty much the same. You have channels and we have a channel called notifications. And there you can see, oh, a new service submission. Did they want to enter the contest? What is their name, email, and do they want to join the newsletter or not? Uh, which, by the way, about 50% of you want. Um, and since the contest was there, I can now, I am allowed to put you into active campaign and give you a newsletter. Just because they are a contact in your CRM does not allow me to send newsletters, right? And now I see a ticket. Ah, oh, yeah, um, she registered a ticket here with the name, with the email, with the exact event, which is the one today. Um, was it a ticket for the Facebook live stream? It was number ticket number 29 out of 100 available live stream tickets. Um, and she got a lead score of 67 on a scale of 0 to 100. Uh, she's uh, from a company that was located in Germany. She has medium traffic and the company is in the software industry. Based on the email, this lead score tool, which is completely free within Zapier, Zapier costs something, um, generates this number and the signals it used to, to get those numbers. So this, this lead scoring was such a great uh, discovery uh, when I saw that, because this is usually something that you have to put a lot of time and effort in into deciding 
what is the lead score. Now we use this as one of the signals to generate the overall lead score for uh, our homies. Yeah? And so how does this look like on the, on, the Zap, on the Zapier front? Here we have uh, zaps that all end into a notification. Pretty much everything I zap, I now have in Discord because I don't want to lose the feeling for what was automated and was not. Here, this is Eventbrite, two things happen, go to Discord. I receive a message on my Facebook page, go to Discord. Somebody fills out something on Typeform, act, uh, if, it's, uh, if they, they want to, if they are in the contest, update or create the contest, send it to Discord. Somebody schedules um, a call with us on our uh, workshop landing page, two things, go to Discord. Yeah, because this getting notifications actually really helps to stay on track. So how does this look like? When a Facebook message uh, comes in, you in Discord, you have, uh, in, in Zapier, you can set up both apps and then you see some data. And here you can see, ah, uh, yeah, this was somebody uh, who texted me a message. And now you can tell Zapier how to send it to um, to the messenger. Now you can see, ah, oh yeah, I got a message from full name and then the message text in Discord. And I don't know about you, but I do not keep track of my Facebook or Instagram messages as well as I should. But if I see it in Discord, the business tool I'm in every day, that's cool. And there it is. There is the message. Facebook page, Zap Lab, hello world. Yeah, with some nice emojis around them. So I, I know immediately what it is. Another quick example of what if somebody goes to a landing page and goes to Calendly. This is my workshop landing page. You see some information, some pricing, uh, and then you schedule a call. You get sent to Calendly. Then you pick a date, a time. You confirm it. You give in your name and your email. This is to me like the best uh, scheduling experience I've seen so far but there are a lot who are already as good as they. Um, now this gets sent to Discord. Ah, Sales Biatch said, Ben Zafiani, schedule the call. Yeah, sorry for that one. Uh, <laughs> somehow came out. Um, see, that really helps me to now immediately follow up with a potential lead by getting this notification instead of waking, waiting for the email to come in and seeing what happens. I can just call them and say, hi, I saw, I saw you, uh, you wanted to book a call with the workshop. Why, ha why, why do it in a week when we can do it now? Yeah. Um, another example here is, for example, um, how, this, how this looks like. Yeah? Um, here this is, for example, <laughs> Atom Alarm, which is our signal for uh, something really important is happening. Yeah? And, and here we have, ah yeah, a new info call was scheduled. Here, this is where I did the, wait, I, didn't do, I didn't do it on the other one, I guess. Uh, new sales calls were scheduled, name, email, what type of call was it and what time is it? Yeah, and now it also tags me and Mati and we handle those kinds of requests of people who want to join the workshops. And this helps us so much yeah, to, to automate the system. Um, Fun story about that. We set up this landing page on Sunday and uh, we set up two remarketing campaigns at five euro each per day. And the first lead came in the next day from my favorite car brand. And I didn't have contact with them for five years. Really amazing. Yeah. So, if you want to learn more about Zapier, if that sounds interesting, there are great YouTube channels explaining that. That is a YouTube link to that. Um, WordPress for uh, Zapier for WordPress forums. I know a lot of you are probably using WordPress. Who is it using WordPress? I'm curious. Yeah, a, a lot of you. What? Who is? Who is using WordPress? Yeah. WordPress forums are already a mess. Let's at least get the connection between WordPress forms and all the other CRM stuff done with Zapier. Yeah, and this is what this is about. And there are a lot of uh, other uh, links you can follow to, to learn more about what you can actually do with Zapier. There's 
hardly anything you cannot connect because it has a universal um, technical tool called webhooks, yeah, which a lot of software uh, are supporting and they don't need to have a fancy integration. If they have a webhook, you can do pretty much get and give all information to, to any tools. Yeah, and this is what developers are usually using yeah, to, to connect uh, to apps. Uh, but here, non-developers can, with a very simple solution, uh, create that here. And uh, I think this is actually a good point to, to talk about Kitchen for a moment. Simon, do you want to come up for a second? Sure. So, uh, Simon, uh, Manuel Kuhlmann, the founder of uh, Pirate Summit, connected me with Simon and his brother. What's your brother's name? Martin. Martin. And they are building a tool called uh, Kitchen.io. Can, can I give you the mic? Do you want to tell us just a little bit what your idea? Because I think the idea is brilliant and it goes towards my vision of marketing. And I didn't know he was actually coming tonight. I was just hoping he would. Yeah, so uh, the, the platform we're building is called Kitchen.io. It's like the kitchen, but without an E. Um, I unfortunately have the hoodie without the, the logo, uh, only with the logo and without the kitchen name. Kitchen.io. Kitchen.io. Yeah. Um, the idea is some people now call it as something like a Zapier for Facebook ads. Yeah. So. Um, the idea for us is to uh, give marketers the power that normally kind of, you know, yep. uh, lies with developers. Um, so we're building a no-code platform. So similar to uh, if some people use Webflow for website uh, design and building or Zapier for automation. Uh, but we're doing that for the digital marketing space. Um, so something that you can do... Um, Right now, we're kind of focusing on uh, people running Facebook ads full time. Uh, so if anybody does that, um, kind of take a look. Um, and we say we help you automate the monkey work. Um, so one simple example um, that some people may know is uh, when you run a ton of ads and have a ton of landing pages, uh, sometimes your landing pages break or you remove a product. Yeah. Um, so and we the have, pixel is not working. Anymore. Or the pixel yeah. is not working. Yeah. Um, so we have a bunch of automation recipes. That's where the name comes from. Yeah. Um, that automatically check all of your active ads for any broken links or if the uh, pixel uh, is not working okay. or if you set up incorrect UTM parameters for those people that work uh, with web analytics software, etc. And there are a bunch of uh, other ones we're actually launching today. Um, congrats, mate. Congrats. <laughs> so very new. Uh, so it's... Yeah, so uh, anybody who's interested can kind of take a look at it. Um, we have a, on the, where it says recipes, it's kind of like a community page, uh, like a forum. Yeah. Uh, so if anybody has any ideas of what they would want to automate in their kind of daily digital marketing work, um, let us know. We also work with webhooks a lot. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully we can integrate into Discord for you sometimes. Yeah, thank soon. you very much. Uh, but thanks. Yeah. All right, thank you, thank you. Oh. So thinking about this as recipes, I really like, yeah, that, that you can cook together and then it starts solving problems for you. One thing I did with Kitchen was create a big amount of audiences at the same time. Like imagine like the one day page view, three days, seven day, 14. I have to do this every time with every single account. Imagine there was a recipe for that. Yeah, I think that is the general idea of where Kitchen is going. Um, really like that. So, that's that. Well, this usually takes a little bit. So, um, in this case, I actually want to automate stuff that gives me a better feeling for my best leads. And you can use automation, which usually sounds very technical and cold, to actually stay in touch with the people who care most about your business. Yeah, and this is where I try to focus on uh, in automation in this area. And as I said, yeah, we can we can do this on the whole and the whole skill set that we are trying to focus here at Pirate Skills. Yeah, while creating content, while building funnels, while using data analytics tools, while traffic generation and during the conversion rate optimization process. We have a chance to hook into that. Um, if you're interested in any of the workshops in these areas, when you want to go deeper, we, again, we have shown you this website called growth.piratesguilds.com. There is all the information you could want about uh, the workshops, if you like, yeah? But if not, I'm very happy to see you at the next meetup again. 
So the next meetup is going to be on April 1st about Google Analytics Demystified, where we are going to show you how to uh, apply the R metrics framework in a specific tool. Yeah, and we show you how easy you can actually get like stuff like demographic data, how old uh, your, your users are, what gender they have, what they're actually interested in business-wise. And those are targeting audiences that you can then pick up later in Google Ads and you get those for free. We can show you what are the best traffic sources uh, that convert the most leads. You can easily see that the Eventbrite email convert 163 sales with a conversion rate of 42%. What the hell? Yeah, I want to kick Eventbrite. I, I, I'm not such a big fan, but they just perform like nothing else. Yeah, so in that way I love Eventbrite. Uh, and I can't kick it. And there's an easy way to see all of the most popular pages, which then helps you again to understand what were the most interesting topics. Here, for example, I can see this is the last meetup we did about LinkedIn content magic. And it is, this is a pretty long time frame. It's still by far the most popular um, thing that we have done here. So that tells me, oh, I need to produce more of that and more in that style. Who was there at the last LinkedIn content magic? Yeah. So few, crazy. All right, and then you can go with analytics tool as far and as deep as you like in e-commerce and shopping behavior and experience. But I really want to give you a chance to discuss it, to ask your questions, what you uh, are maybe worried about while using Google Analytics. So you feel like, oh yeah, this is really easy to do. But bring the advanced stuff as well, if you like. I really appreciate that as well. If you want to get a ticket, you can register now. It's also on your handout at getpiratesguild.com slash mystic. Yeah? And don't worry if you have a normal Startplatz ticket, but you can't make it, but just go watch the live stream. You don't have to write me about it. It's totally fine. Yeah? So I would love to see you there.